All right, it's time for some coloring. I'll zoom into the arms and concentrate on those first. Now this is the way that I color. If you have a different way, that's fine. Go for it, have at it. But I'll be using my direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll option or alt click that inner line. Go to edit, cut, select that black shape, edit, paste in front, and I've already picked out some colors in my color palette, and I'll use this red color. Then I'll select the red and the black color, and I'll group them. Go up to Object, Group. So now it's all contained in one group. Okay, next one. Direct Selection Tool, Option or Alt click that inner line, and I'll use a shortcut, but you would go up to Edit, Cut, Edit, Paste in Front. But I'll cut that, select that black shape, paste in front, change the color, select the red and the black, and group them. Same thing on the next one. Option or Alt click that inner line, cut it, select the black, paste in front, change the color, select both shapes, and group them. And I'm going to do that for every single shape that's here. Okay, so let's do the legs. Same thing. I have two shapes now. Option or Alt click the first shape. While holding down the Option or Alt, hold down the Shift. Click the second shape. Cut it. Select the back shape. Paste in front. And I'll change the color. And I'm going to make the pant color a different colored brown. Select all three shapes and group them. So now it's just one grouped shape. Okay, the next one. Same thing. Direct selection tool. Option or Alt click that first shape. Hold down your Shift with the Option and Alt. Click that second shape. Cut those two shapes. Select the back shape. Paste in front and then change the color. Select all three of those shapes and group them. Now let's go to the head and work on that a little bit. Same thing as before. Actually, I'm going to turn off some of these layers or hide them so we can work on just the head. Direct Selection Tool, Option Alt Click that inner line, hold down your Shift with the Option or Alt and click each inner shape. Then cut them, select that black shape, paste it in front, and I'll give it one color for now, which is this skin color that I'm using for the ear and the face. Then I'm going to select just the hair sections and change it to a yellow. Select all those shapes and group them. And I'll turn all these layers back on for now. So that's basically how I'm going to color every single thing on this page. Very important, make sure you group each body part after you've colored it. Then the next step, after it's all done, which I've already done actually, I'll hide all these layers and I have a colored version here. And I'll turn off our sketch and there we have it, all colored up. Okay, one last thing is how to bring it into Animate, which is very simple. Before we do that, I'll delete the image layer because we don't need that anymore. 
and I'll make sure everything's unlocked. Although, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'll just keep them unlocked. I'll save my file, and that's it. Now time to move over to animate. <laughs> <laughs>